Hello guys, uh, my name is Hadi. I welcome you to today's lecture. Today I'm going to talk about switch, switch statement. Uh, this is used for efficient and readable coding. Used uh, when there is need of multiple F and the condition uses integer or character. In F we use the, the condition as F score is greater than equals to 50 it means whatever value comes which is greater than equals uh, greater than 50 or it is equals to 50 this will uh, process the uh, statement but in switch we have only one value for example we say if the user entered one what will happen uh, what will be the statements to be processed so switch uh, this is the switch statement when you use switch uh, then inside the parentheses you are going to name you are going to write the name of variable that you are using the variable might be an integer type or it might be a character type here I just wrote uh, a case one it means if the user entered an integer uh, here the the, the type of the variable is uh, int uh, because if the user entered one it will compo it will process the first statement if the user entered two the second statement uh, and uh, the case three it start from the statement three but here I didn't mention the break uh, break actually it interrupt or discontinue the flow of control here if i don't use break when i enter one first statement one will happen will uh, occur will it will be processed then sec uh, second statement will also be processed and it will display or it will run the statement and also case three but if i use break for in each case then it means when the case one condition was true or the user entered one then it will process the statement one and then it will break it will get out of the bracket so that is the case that we are going to use break also here in this example uh, the great variable is uh, a character data type which is uh, a b c d here here if user enters a or the grad the grade value will be would be a then excellent will be displayed if the grade value is equals to b then it will print very good here i didn't use break so when the c condition is true it means grade is equals to c then it will show you good poor fail three three of them if the grade value is A, it will show excellent, very good, good, poor, fail. So it didn't break the statement. So we have to use break. Here, yeah. In that example, just enter break. Uh, I'm going to write an example. Um, they will also work with arithmetic operators. Uh, so one thing else that we have, just like uh, in F, we had else else means if we have uh, too many conditions and uh, all were f uh, false so the else statement uh, was happening so here we have default default means if none of those cases are true then the default will happen see out please enter grade from a to d or f it means uh, you did not enter a to d or f you may enter an incorrect value so default is you for that is this is a flow chart of switch segments we get f case a then display excellent f case b then display very good da, 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 down till default uh, limitation of switch segment uh, here in f i said that uh, we can use uh, f amount greater than 
uh, it means any value which is greater than this value uh, will be true so the statement will run uh, but in switch we have a fixed value with whole numbers and characters with no fruit whole number short integer long and case statement of switch must put constant not float so what have we done till now sequential statement decision of oh, loop uh, next lecture i will talk about the uh, loop so guys let's have a program let's just write a program regarding switch <clears throat> here i'm going to uh, write uh, a program which uh, just like a calculator a simple calculator it will do the five operation plus minus and multiply and also modulus so first let's have some uh, let's have some variables uh, float a comma b comma result or r i have three variables a b and r and also i'm going to make another variable which uh, which will take the um, operation for example minus plus these things so for that i'm going to use a char uh, variable which is name is op operation so first first uh, ask ask the user to enter the first value slash n then take the value to a then display enter the operation which is plus minus multiply divide and modulus these things only these things backslash n then take it inside op then see out enter enter the second value enter the second value so here slash n uh, we are going to take the input and save it to b now we have two value and also operation here i am going to use the switch inside the prints i am going to use which of uh, which variable value should uh, uh, find the case which case would be true so that's op we are going to say case um, here we are not going to use case one we say if it was plus then what happened then just display what display a plus b is equals to equals to what equals to our result what's result r is equal uh, so here i didn't just uh, yeah, let's just first calculate r r is equals to a plus b so here i can just write r you could also do it directly a plus b it's okay no matter then i'm going to use break let's go to case number two which is minus and r is equals to a minus b and see out a minus b is equals to equals to what equals to r yeah then in case number three we are going to use multiply as you wish r is equals to a multiply by b and see out a multiply by b is equals to or then break case number oh I didn't use break here that's a problem not a logical problem in case number three, uh, four we are going to use divide then r is equals to a divided by b then we say c out a divided by b is equals to 
plus what or then break in case number five we are going to use modulus r is equals to a modulus b then see out a modulus b is equals to what r then break the last but not the least our default function which says please if all were false then display for the user please enter minus comma plus comma divide comma or modulus operations only so let's check it I have written this let's just check it if there is any error or not let's compile it so here op oh, genuine switch was not declared in the scope I'm so so sorry I just made a mistake here spelling mistake so compile oh, r is equals to a divided by b float oh I'm so so sorry in remainder we cannot use float that is the case so I'm just going to remove this from here and I will just make some changes uh, and uh, I will define the I will explain the casting for you later so let's just do it um, without this one without uh, modulus yeah here also we should bring some changes and also there so we have our program ready let's just compile it and run it no error So guys, enter the first value, we are going to say 2 and enter the operation, we say multiply, then 3. What will be the result? Of course, it will be 6. See, only A multiplied by B is equals to 6. Only that case was true. Third one. Yeah. So guys, for casting, uh, so let me just take the... Uh, copy of this one control C and uh, here I'm just going to use control V so here guys instead of division I'm just going to use uh, modulus then I'm going to use casting I'm going to just change the data type of uh, convert the data type of uh, A which is uh, flute into int and also B and change the operator into modulus modulus so here just change this one also modulus and also in the first part uh, we can also use modulus so let's just compile it and run it uh, for example if I say 4 modulus 5 what will remain of course 4 will remain a modulus b is equal to 4 now we don't we have no error here Actually, we just use uh, casting so guys see you in the next lecture just subscribe and introduce our channel to your friends see